Hello everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain Odu Role Mojibola. Guess what today I'm going to be teaching us how to create this simple flip over slide. I find out that a lot of my students have been asking how do I do this. It's quite simple. I really need you to know that this is quite simple. I'm sure you want to know how I went about all of this. Sit back and I'm gonna be right back. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be starting with this particular pattern. Now I have a like a rectangular pattern here. The width is five centimeter, and then I have the length to be about twenty five centimeter. Now it depends on the size you are working with. Don't forget it's this front pattern, so you might not be needing as much as that. Now if you are not using, you are not measuring in centimeter. Probably you want to measure in inch. Just measure two inch from here to here is going to be two inches while the length should be about nine inches although that majorly depends on your size it could be a some people's front part the front part of some people's feet is not as much as then some is eight some is seven so it depends on the one you're working with so what we are going to do now is this measurement we are going to cut it twice what i mean is we are going to double it like i have here i'm going to place this right here now so i have it this way here so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm also going to place it again so i'm going to do it it's going to be twice because of the way our flip design look like don't forget we are creating a flip slide so you can see what i have so what i'm going to just do now is i'm going to cut the two of them together i'm going to cut this and i'm going to also um 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 oh um draw out the second one since it of course you have your two leg if you want your own to be double it means you are going to do this four times and if yours is just the front part you are creating the flip design just on the front part it's just going to be two like mine so just follow me gently and see what we are going to be having so what i've done is this i'm going to cut this this all together and i'm going to cut this as well together so let me quickly do that and get back to us yes now we have our two piece of pattern don't forget if you want yours to be at the front and then here it means you are going to cut four one two three four but since it's just going to be at the front for my own design it's just going to be at the front so i'm just going to be showing us how to do that now that we already have this the next thing is we're going to be stitching it yes you've got to stitch you are going to stitch it down yeah we are going to stitch it so I'm going to go ahead and stitch it. If you don't have a stitching machine, a machine that can stitch, you can, you know, get somebody to do it for you. Or you use your hand to stitch. Yes, you can use a very big needle to stitch this. I've already taught us how to hand stitch. So please ensure that you watch that video as well to see how. I'll try to put it in the comment section or at the end of this video for us to see. So you can see what I have. I'm going to just stitch now. So you can see I've stitched this already. And I have turned it inside out. So I left this so that we can see what I have. After stitching, this is what it looks like. Now, this side, I decided to stitch. I didn't stitch that, this side just because I wanted it to be easy for me to put it, to, to turn it inside out. So you just try to push it gently. So, so that's all you need to do. So, I seal it because it will be easy to push. If you do not seal it, the scissors will be coming out of that open part. So you can see that it's coming out easily like this. So I'm just going to pull it gently. So I think that's just the basic thing I want us to see with this. So now you can see I'm just going to try to, I want to try to open it up. Oh, I don't really want it that way because of the design because of my flip slide so as you can see I've already worked on my end so I told us to use the video actually in the simple shoe making pattern play playlist on how to create an insole for all of these they are all there so now I'm going to go ahead and last my flip slide so I call it a flip slide because we are going to actually be flipping this particular design now that we have this don't forget our pattern is still here so what i'm going to do now is 
you can see what I have. I'm going to push it this way. Can you see what I have? I'm going to place this right here. And then, now, instead of it going this way, you know, normally this is what you see. What we are going to be doing is we are going to actually flip it over this way. We are going to ensure that when you flip it over, this particular side is going to be coming this way. You can see that if you turn it, we are seeing the other side. So you will turn it in, so you will fix it in such a way that when you turn, I mean, when you place this way, this side will not be showing. I mean, this joining will not be showing. So you have to flip it in a little bit. You can see I flip it in. Then you have it right here. So you can see what I have. This is exactly what our design looks like. There is nothing so special about the flip flops. No, I'm sure somebody will be wondering, will I be able to... Okay, if I don't have lats, how do I do that? Now, at least you already know how the placement, how you should fold it. You know that it may not be as much as this. I think it should be around here. So it should be about one inches away from this particular side of, of um, the insole. So... And I have this at the end of the day. Okay, how do I know? I will suggest that you make use of your finger. I always announce that in my videos. So if you are going to be using your fingers, place your finger on your insole this way. And use, let me try to zoom this in so that you can see my hand, my fingers. Use this, don't use exactly this side. Come a little bit lower on your finger. Don't forget that my longest finger is actually touching this tip. So make sure that your longest finger is touching that tip. Then you use right ear in case you don't have a last, for example, and you want to use your leg to last it. So first of all, play, try to locate where to place it. So now that you have located this place, you use your pen to trace it at the back here. To trace this back now for this particular side what you do is also you are not going to be using this side come a little bit downward you can see where i'm touching just a little bit below this particular part of your finger that is where you should use now this is majorly because this the the front part of that flip slide the pattern is not wide so if you are not careful it will not cover your smallest toe. I mean your foot smallest toe. Your toe, of course, your toe is your on your leg. <laughs> so it will not cover the smallest toe. And I want it to cover it. That's the reason I said we should not use this side, but use this particular side and this particular side as well. So all you need to do is just flip like I flip. And then that will be all. And then, of course, you have to apply gum to do all of this. Now, I always say this. The reason why I did not add cardboard is because I'm using a a, a thick, a very de as in a part, a thick EVA foam. That is the reason I'm not using cardboard. Now, when you are using a very light um, EVA foam, which is also called Mako in Nigeria, for example, if you are using about one millimeter thick. Um, um, EVA foam, I would advise that you get your cardboard. Please ensure you buy your insole cardboard and attach it to it before you wrap. So now you know the reason I'm not I'm not hiding cardboard because it is, is actually very dense. So you can see how thick it is by the side. So hiding that will make it too thick as far as I am concerned. I am okay with this. It doesn't mean you can't hard your insole cardboard if you want to. You can actually add it but for me this is perfectly okay so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is last now you know how i got my position so go ahead and mark yours at the back of your insole like i do or if you want to put your leg on it please put your leg i mean put your leg on it make sure that your biggest toe your biggest to this particular line that is on it make sure that it's a little bit below that particular line then on your smallest to make sure that at this point it covers it this is what i mean now when you want to place it let's say you place this on your be on your toe for example you know there is always a line like this on our toe you can check yours there's one first line a make sure it's under it so when it comes to this side by the time you place it and you fold it this way Make sure that at least your smallest toe is not showing too much. 
you understand it doesn't have to show for that to happen so you know our hand our fingers is not the same thing as our toe that's why it's looking abnormal so please make sure that you follow the the the, the style i suggested by using your fingers if you don't understand how to place it on your toe that will work perfectly fine for your foot so now i have already applied my gum now i've not applied gum on my pattern because i want to know where exactly to apply my gum that is the reason i'm just placing it i just want to place it to locate it i've not really applied the gum you can see the way it looks like on this side so that they won't be seeing my joining so we are going to go we are going this way don't forget i told you it's going to flip over here we are going to come to this side and make sure it's not showing Yes, we are going to do everything to ensure it's not showing right on this side. You can see what I have. So I'm going to try to adjust this. So my where I mark at the back, I'm going to still look at it. You can see what I have is around here. I'm still going to place it right there. So I just want to use it to check if I am still on track. So you can see what I have now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just reduce this because i really don't need as much as this so I'm, of course i'll still use gum to hold just to close it together like this apply gum in then close it together but at least i know where exactly i'm lasting now so you can see what i have now so let me remove the last for us to see you can see that's the design you can see how it looks like you can't see anything here neither can you see anything on this side it's actually very quite it's quite beautiful actually but looks very complex and you wonder what they actually did so that is basically what our flip design is all about so it's just to apply gum here apply gum on my lead on my leather and then place it properly like i want it to be and then go ahead and last it i've done that so many times in my video so of course i wouldn't want to bore you with that please you can just make sure that you go to the description there is a shape that looks like v under this particular video what you need to do just click it you will see that it will give you the description of everything of of everything that this video entails and also the link to my playlist the simple shoe making making pattern so i'll be simple shoe making rather so please just click the playlist go through it and see how you can wrap how you can last and all of that in that particular playlist you can see this is really beautiful and i'm sure you like it now i didn't stitch mine i choose not to actually stitch it, it wasn't as if anything i choose not to stitch if you want to stitch yours of course it's just to stitch i've taught us how to unstitch so you can also use your machine to stitch as well so i want to believe you have enjoyed today's tutorial so i don't want to bore us with bottom meaning because i've done that so many times in some of my tutorials so i'm sure you love what you are already seeing even when it has not been bottomed or totally last so if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell the notification bell will get you notified each time i upload beautiful videos like this so thank you for being part of today's class i'm going to see you on thursday for my my two minutes talk don't miss it for anything bye